Bishop's been a board member of the association. He's been president of the Association of Beach and Shack Club DJs. He's a member of the Beach Music DJ Hall of Fame, Mr. Jim Rose. There you go, boys. Let's hear something. That's unbelievable. Thank you, Steve. I really appreciate it. I uh, thank all the board members. Uh, I'll cherish this. Thank you. Thank you. Of the DJ Hall of Fame. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I think DJ Throwdown this year is a success. Am I right? Yeah. I'm up here in my former life. I was chairman of the board of the DJ Hall of Fame. Now I am former chairman of the DJ Hall of Fame. I will stay on the board as Chairman Emeritus, and I will not give anybody any trouble. I will do things at this event or any other time that the two guys that are taking this over, if they let me do it or want me to do it. And the two gentlemen that I have selected to take this over, and this is with the approval of Harold Worley and his son, H.G., Jim Rose and Eddie Anderson from right here in North Carolina. I have all of the confidence in the world, and I am surely that they are going to do it like I did with a few little minor changes, and I hope they have as much success as I did. Thank you. Larry, thank you so much. Uh, let's give Larry Edwards a big hand for all of the work, hard work he's done over the past for many, many, many years. 17 years. Are we going to live that long? We're gonna, we're gonna do the best that we can anyway. Well, again, welcome to the 2022 Peach Music DJ Hall of Fame. And uh, we appreciate you being here. And I'd also like to make a big thank you to Lulu, all her staff, and Mr. Worley for letting us have it here. Uh, I think it's a great venue. And obviously, you guys like it too. But uh, let's get this thing started. Uh, the Beach Music DJ Hall of Fame was started by Harold Bessett and Gary Bass in 1987. And it gives awards out every year to DJs that have made great accomplishments in the music and what, they, what we do here at the Beach and in other clubs around the country. Uh, there are two categories. We have a regular member, which... Uh, goes out to regular members of the DJ Association that have made exemplary contributions to music and to dance. The second category is the honorary member. And we do that to uh, beach music, radio DJs, people in the music industry, beach bands, and you will see some of those up there on the wall if you go out front. Uh, the Hall of Fame is, hall is held every year this time at DJ Throwdown on Friday night. And if you haven't, go out front, make a right, and the plaques and all of the uh, pictures are up there on the wall. Uh, it's something really, really great to see. Uh, each year we do this, and we have uh, right now 42 living members of the DJ Music, music, music DJ Hall of Fame. And before we go, we've got three people going in this year. And uh, each year, the members vote. Everybody has one vote for the Beach Music Hall of Fame inductees. But before we get started, we're going to break three people up, and they're going to introduce those people who are going into the Hall of Fame. But before that, I'd like to give an opportunity for each of our Hall of Fame members to introduce themselves and tell them where you're from. I'm Mike Ray. I'm from the big town of Cornelius, North Carolina. I'm Ray Scott from right here in North Little Beach, South Carolina. I'm Gene Zestar from Lancaster, South Carolina. 
I'm Danny Smith from Beaufort, North Carolina, and I'll be inducted in 2012. I'm Jerry Hopper, and I'm from the big city of Inman, South Carolina. I'm Walter Upchurch, and I'm from the little city of Chaco, Winnetty, North Carolina. I'm from the small part of Beach, in 2021. Larry Edwards, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 1995. Steve Baker, Raleigh, North Carolina, 1995. John Smith, Andrew, South Carolina. 2007. Bill Moore in Eden, North Carolina, 2006. Eddie Anderson, 2014. And Jim Rose, 2019. All right, I'd like to bring these people up and introduce our new inductees. And the inductees tonight are Jerry Burridge, Greg Jennings, and Johnny Miller. I'd like to first bring up Mr. Larry Edwards to do the introduction for Jerry. Thank you, everybody. I've been in the DJ Hall of Fame since 1995. Steve Baker and I got in together. I have never done this before. <laughs> I stood up here for 17 years watching people do it. I'd like to get Jerry Burris to come up here. Jerry Burns is a friend of mine. We've been friends since about 1986. And he moved. He was up in Raleigh, North Carolina, or Durham, somewhere. I went up there with Charlie Wombo, Jack and McGee, friends of ours, and opened up a club. And I met Jerry. I gave away a set of tapes. You know, the old cassette tapes? And Jerry won them up at the club they opened up in Raleigh. And about a year later, I found out he had them transferred to CD. <laughs> DJ a little. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, Jerry is somebody that I say is as good a DJ as I've ever heard for a shag crowd. I've been around him for seven years down here at the beach, and he's as good a DJ as anybody I've ever heard. Of. And I trust him to get people up on the dance floor as good as anybody. He's also got a serious heart of gold. And he doesn't mind giving it away. Good money is everybody's money when it comes to charities. He's well known down here at the beach for being a sponsor of everything to do with the shag. He even likes his friends to help out his friends like me every now and then. About four years ago, there was a chair sitting right here. I walked in one Saturday afternoon at Junior SOS thinking I was not going to get my head shaved. We were supposed to raise $5,000. We only raised four. I walked in, Jerry Burge handed Gene Pope, the president, a check for $1,000. I sat down in the chair. I've been wanting to pay him back for that for a long time. <laughs> Jerry, I just want to say that I'm proud to bring your friend. And it gives us an honor and a privilege to induct you into the 20, 2022 class of the Beach Music DJ Hall of Fame. I think I'm on cry. I'm not going to take long, but you folks don't mean to know me for years saying, and I love this place, I love the dance, and I love the music. Thank you so much. Thank you guys that voted for me, and thank you very, very much. <laughs> All right, big hand, Jerry Curry. Next on the agenda, my good friend, Craig Jennings. It's you, bud. My good friend, we have been friends for years. We came from the same hometown, pretty much. You're a little bit south. You got a better view of the river than I did. Uh, but uh, Greg started DJing in 1995 up in the middle of the Virginia Shack Club. 
and uh, he and his wife, Heather, have been pro dancers, big time winners. Uh, they teach at the Battlefield Boogie Club, which is in Fredericksburg, which they were one of the original founders of, and also up in the Northern Virginia Shack Club. Uh, Craig does a lot of contests around the country, around here. Yeah, the Fat Herald's here just a few weeks ago. The uh, Labor Day at Fat Herald's, uh, the Grand Nationals, uh, and Eno Beach, and, and quite a few others. But uh, he's been collecting music. He and I played a little vinyl today. Played uh, two hours last night and had a great time. So, without further ado, it's my pleasure and honor to induct you into the 2022 Beach Music DJ Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Uh, well, I'm not used to short words, but thank y'all. I've considered all y'all mentors through the years, teaching me a lot. Thank you so much. Looked up to all y'all over the years, doing a great job teaching me about the music that we all love, the dance we love. I have to thank my wife for letting me uh, drag her all over the East Coast through the years, from Pennsylvania down to Georgia, following me along, and all the people who came out, enjoyed the music and danced. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Take your place up here. Walter Up Church. I say this along with my buddy back here, Terry Hopper. Because he deserves to stand by me by doing this. Johnny Miller started this uh, journey at the age of 13. Shagbug hit him. He learned dancing from Percy Thornton in Wellington, North Carolina. He spent a month Atlantic Beach in 1965 that set him on a course to right here. Atlantic Electric Records and DJing. 1983, he started DJing on a guy named Russell Perkins and Melanie's place in Carborough, Stooges, Rocky Mount, Comfort Inn, Goldberg, Sheridan, the Greenville, Shenanigans, and Kinston, and also included the famous Charlie Bird and Don Vickers. He became a founding member of the East North Carolina Shag Club, which he also inducted as a Hall of Fame member there. He's still an active member, and he plays club functions all over the Greenville area. He also plays in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, on a time or two on rotation. He, uh, he did some things y'all might know about, but he was playing at the second DJ Association meeting that Patrick Gibson Gibson's Shag Explosion in Burlington. Then, because of that, because of his work, he became a full-time honorary, not an honorary, but he became a full-time uh, lifetime DJ association member. Then he started this thing called the Shuck and Shag. We know it as the Oyster Bar. Yeah. Him and Russell Perkins started that. After Russell Perkins uh, passing, Jeff Harris took over, and they still continue with today. In 1989, um, Johnny Miller, Russell Perkins, and several other Don Vickers, too, they started the uh, Down East Beach Boogie. That went on for about five years, had about 700 attendees each time, and a charity was associated with it each time. He played all over the place in the Greenville area, Rocky Mount, Tarboro, you name it. For several years, he was, uh, well, put it this way, he was one of the last members to play at the Kelman Pool Party. Y'all remember that? Let me tell you, that. that was a long time ago. Let me tell you something. When Fat Harold passed away, he wanted to make sure that the DJ Hall of Fame member must have some contribution to the Beach, beach and Shag Club community and have a reputable character and form himself in a professional manner. As a pillar of his community in Mark County, he owned and operates Miller Sport and Goods, which covers 22 counties in eastern North Carolina, supplying kids, teenagers, and adults for all kinds of sports equipment, t-shirts, etc. He's DJ, taught lessons, coached students, 
co-students at Dance and Spa and CSA. And he's taught probably as close to 5,000 to 6,000 people. What that means to us DJs is he put five, 6,000 people in front of us to dance to, plus, plus the club. He has judged contests as well as uh, your dancing and organized contests. There's one notable, I want to tell you about Johnny Miller, he doesn't really brag about it, but it came out this year. One person made a quote, and he said, if it hadn't have been for Johnny Miller, I would have never started dancing. And his name is Michael Norris. Thanks, Johnny Miller. Now, in closing, join me, his wife Ellen, family and friends, the other Hall of Fame members, in welcoming Johnny Miller to the Beach and Shag DJ Hall of Fame. We'll try to make this real quick. And thank you to um, Fair Health Beach Club for sponsoring the DJ, the DJ Hall of Fame and to the Hall of Fame Committee, the Anderson, Tim Rose, and Larry Evans for an outstanding job with these years and decades. Special thanks to Walter Upchurch and Terry Hopper for my nomination and introduction to my fellow Hall of Fame members. To Jeff and Pat Harris and the Wooly Powwows and their encouragement and all the help in keeping the Chuck and Shack going for the last week. To Ellen, you're the love of my life. And you always have my back. To the flock, we thank you for coming, for your friendship. Some of you I've been friends with for the past 50 years. And coming every time that I play. And lastly, to all the DJs, male and females here, please preserve, protect, and defend the music and the lifestyle that we love. Meanwhile, get your tickets out because you think it's a good way it happened after in just a moment. Congratulations. Many of the